G'day. Let's be a little more theoretical this time. Let's actually take note of the number of ways we can write different numbers in terms of grapes in these dishes. For example, we just see there are actually six different grape codes for the number six. Um, and I did show you in my little calculations of paper that there are actually 20 different representations of the number 12 in terms of grapes. There's actually 20 different grape codes for the number 12. You should double check me on that. And that's all we worked out. Um, I did claim earlier on there are actually 114 different grape codes for the number 26. That's very hard to double check. But you can double check me on that one too. But let's look at some other accounts of grape codes. For example, how many grape codes are there for number two? Well, that one's not too bad. We could either do one grape in the two box or two grapes in the one box, and you can see pretty quickly that's it. There are two ways to represent the number two in terms of grapes in these dishes. How many ways for the number four? Um, I can be a little swifter here. Uh, I could do four ones one way. I could go kaboom, do two ones the second way. I could do kaboom again, two twos, or I could do kaboom again. Uh, for the one, uh, one four, great. And you can just double check that really was it. That's all possible great codes. This turns out to be four of them, and so on. All right, and then we can keep going. Now you might wonder, why did I skip the odd numbers here? Why aren't I working out the number of grape codes for seven, the number of grape codes for nine, and so forth? Well, if you remember earlier on in the video, we did actually argue that the number of grape codes for the number seven is going to be the same as the number of six. There's going to be six of those as well. Um, the number of grape codes for nine will be the same as the number of grape codes for eight. That the number of grape codes for any odd number is going to be the same as the number of grape codes for the even number just before it. So let's not bother with the odd numbers. They tend to get the same values. So let's focus on the evens. All right, now I did do a lot of work before this video and actually worked out the rest of this table for you. So it turns out there are 10 different grape codes of the number 8. It turns out there are 14 different grape codes of the number 10. Uh, I did 14 as well. It turns out there's 26 of those and there's 26 ways, uh, sorry, 36 ways to represent the number 16. All right, my handwriting is a bit scrawly there. Hopefully you can see that okay. And then I gave up after that because that's getting very exhausting. But of course, the question is, you don't want to work these out by hand. By hand. This gets very tedious. So the real question is, are there any patterns to these numbers? And can we believe those patterns? Can we explain why they're true? That will then allow us to keep going, filling up this table with ease. For example, what's the next 10 numbers in this table? Um, so things to observe. I mean, I'm noticing right away that the count, all these counts, the number of, ways of, number of grape codes for different numbers, always seems to be even. Is that true? Is there always an even number way to count um, an even number of counts of grape codes for each number? Hmm. All right. Well, that won't help me predict what the next numbers are, but I can just at least say they're even if I believe that's true. Uh, maybe it's not true. Um, what else could I say? Well, I can't help but noticing differences. I guess I guess it doesn't. You know, when you're looking at sequences for the first time, you start noticing doing differences. This goes up by two. Four to six goes up by two. Six to ten is up by four. Up by four. Up by six. Up by six. Ooh, up by ten. <laughs> we went up by two twice, then we went up by four two times, then we went up by six two times, then we went up by ten, and maybe we'll go up by ten the next time to 46. Up by two, up by two, up by four, up by four, up by six, up by six, up by ten, up by ten, up by fourteen, up by fourteen, up by twenty, up by twenty. Wouldn't that be marvelous if that's true? Because that would then give us a means to actually keep going with this table with some relative ease. Wow. Is it true? that this table has differences that are basically the original sequence repeated twice. 2, 2, 4, 4, 6, 6, 10, 10. If we can prove that, that would be grand. So that's my challenge. Is that pattern that we've just noticed an actual true pattern, or does it eventually break down and it's just a coincidence for these first few numbers we have to do? Great stuff. Think about it, play with it, and you might get somewhere with it. And that would be just exciting. Wonderful stuff. All right, thanks so much.